Alice made this launched in 2012 as a cufflink brand. And the reason it began was that Ed and I got married in 2010, searched for cufflinks for our wedding, couldn't find anything that really inspired us. I'd always wanted my own company of some kind within the manufacturing industry and never really found a product that was appropriate to start it with. So when this came about, I looked into the cufflink market a bit more and thought actually this is a really good product to launch a brand with. It's a good introduction, it's a niche, so it could get us traction quite quickly within a sector and then we could take it from there. So it actually started very organically. I designed and developed a collection over the course of a year. I was working full time. My background is furniture and product design, so entering the fashion industry with no clue of business acumen, really. I knew how to draw a picture, knew how to do a technical drawing, knew how to get something made, and it was quite a quick learning curve. I didn't really know how to approach it, so I sent seven key people a pair of cufflinks and a press release and one of which was the managing director of Mr Porter who invited us in the next day and they bought the collection exclusively for three months so that's how it began. This year saw us launch our women's collection in a much bigger way which may on paper to a customer sound like a natural progression and a quite a small task but as a business was a big leap for us. Coming from a product design background and launching with a men's product. The men's industry is one fish and the women's industry is another fish. So for us it's been a big learning curve and something that we are going to pursue through next year and drive forward in a much bigger way. My advice to someone who wants to start their own business would be first and foremost just go for it. Don't worry about making mistakes. I think we've learned as a business much more through making mistakes much more quickly than if we'd got it right all the way along. If you write a business plan, it gives you a skeleton for what you want to achieve. It gives you some good research, some good competitor analysis, some good financial figure basics and a plan to, to try and work to. And accept that it won't go to plan and that you've got to meander accordingly. I have a five-year-old son, a two-year-old daughter, and I'm due to have our third child in two months' time. Everyone says, how do you do it? And any mum that works or runs her own business know that you just kind of crack on and get on with it. The reality of work and play is it's on our terms. In principle, it works very well. The children make you switch off, so it's a blessing. <laughs>